Welcome. For this guided meditation, I want you to use these three steps. Number one, don't try to comprehend or grasp what is being said. Pay closer attention to the, where the words are pointing. Number two, also pay closer attention to the silence between words than the words themselves. Number three, any and every time you try to start understanding or trying to come up with an answer, use that to pay attention to your breathing. Do not get lost in the words, but instead get lost in the breath. Again, as if the fate of the universe is relying on you to pay closer attention, not to just the words, but more importantly, to the silence between words and where the words are pointing. Let's begin. Start by paying attention to your breathing. Pay gentle attention to the breathing that's already happening. Now take a deep breath in, hold, deep breath out, deep breath in, hold, deep breath out. If your thoughts were like birds, what is the sky? In the rhythm of your breath, can you sense the timeless presence that holds the universe together? The river flows through the valley, filling it with life. Let your awareness flow through your body, filling it with consciousness. If the sun forgets to rise, does it cease to be? And if the mind forgets to think, does it cease to be? What is the sound of time passing in a timeless realm? Find that silence within. Where does a thought go when it ends? Find that space and dwell there. You observe the sun, but are you the sun? You observe your thoughts, but are you your thoughts? Thoughts are like leaves on a river. You are the observer on the riverbank, watching them drift by. Can you hear the whispers of the trees in your breath? If thoughts were taken away, who would you be? Can you hear the whispers of the trees in your breath? When you observe your breath, can you touch the stillness that transcends the ever-changing world? In the space between two thoughts, who are you? 
rest there. The sky allows clouds to pass without clinging to them. Let your thoughts pass. You are the sky, not the clouds. A thought arises like a wave on the ocean. You are not the wave. You are the entire ocean. In the absence of thought, where does your consciousness end and the universe begin? If you remove the thinker, what becomes of the thought? If you were to look into a mirror, but saw no reflection without thinking about who would be missing. What shape is the space within a cup? When your attention merges with the breath, can you perceive the interconnectedness of all beings? A flower does not bloom in the sky, it blooms in the soil. Your awareness too blooms when grounded in the body. Can you touch the space between your thoughts? What would you find? Where does your breath end and where does the world begin? In the vastness of space, does the sun claim ownership of its rays? Can you claim ownership of your thoughts? As a wave merges with the ocean, can you find where it begins and where it ends? Can you locate the borders of your true essence? Where does silence reside in the midst of a thought? What color is your breath? Can you paint with it the canvas of the present? In the absence of a thought, who are you? Can you be without becoming? Can you let the breath guide you to the spaciousness that cradles the universe in its embrace? Can the breath be aware of itself? Where are you when thoughts aren't there? What is the flavor of space in which thoughts appear and disappear? Can awareness be aware of itself?
Who are you without your story? In breath, out breath. Are they separate or a single movement? Like a cloudless sky, can you be free of thoughts, yet still exist? The life you believe you are leading, where is it outside of this very moment? What color is the peace inside of a dreamless sleep? The mountain is solid, grounded in earth. Ground your presence in the body like the mountain in earth. In the infinity of being, where is your end and where is your beginning? If the universe was a drop of water, can the ocean fit into it? Where does a thought go when it ends? Find that space and dwell there. When you dream, are you the dream or the dreamer? You are the observer of your mind, not the thoughts it produces. Each thought is a cloud. You are the sky, vast and untouched by passing clouds. With no thoughts, who shapes the clouds in the sky? Without thought, what traces does your presence leave? Imagine there is only silence. In whose ears would it be silent? In the silent pauses between breaths, can you glimpse the formless essence from which all arises? The past is but a memory, the future is an illusion. Can you find a place in time that isn't now? Look within and ask yourself, who is the thinker of your thoughts? Can you find a separate entity behind them?
Can the space of awareness be confined within the form of the thinker? Can you meet yourself as the river meets the sea without a ripple of distinction? Can you find the stillness of mind amidst movement? Who is present when the mind is absent? Can you be still and allow everything to be as it is? Who would you be in this moment if there were no thoughts to tell you who you are? A candle in a breezeless room, no thoughts to flicker the flame. When you become aware of your breath, do you not align yourself with the natural flow of the universe? The heart pulses in the silence of the chest. Pulse your consciousness within your body's silence. Who is the observer when the mirror reflects itself? When the night sky is clear, every star is visible. Can your mind also be so clear that every possibility can be seen? The riverbed is not the rushing water. Your being is the container of thoughts, not the thoughts themselves. A thought is a bird flying across the sky. You are the space through which it passes. What music does the cosmos play when your mind is still? How does silence sound when no one is there to hear it? If you dive into the ocean of being, who gets wet?
Can you rest in the awareness that breath is the bridge between your individual existence and the cosmic dance? What would you see if you looked without labels? When the river flows, does it carry a self within its currents? Can you find a self within the flow of your experiences? Where does the noise of mind end and the silence of being begin? Can you step into the river of life twice? Or is every step both the first and the last? In the gap between two thoughts, where are you? What is the texture of a moment with no thought? Can you observe your thoughts without judgment? The breath that animates you, is it yours or is it the rhythm of life itself? How does a shadow move when there's no light? Can you rest in the spacious awareness that encompasses the breath and hold the universe in its loving embrace? The marrow lives within the bone. Live within your body as marrow within the bone. When the mind seizes, who recognizes its absence? The moon reflects the sun's light, but it isn't the sun. Your mind reflects thoughts, but you are not those thoughts. Thoughts are like footprints in the sand. You are the beach unaffected by the impressions.
When thoughts cease, do you not become the air that the wind stirs? Without thought, who carries the weight of a snowflake? Can the eye see itself without a mirror? Can the self know itself without duality? If you could listen without sound, what would you hear? Just as the sky embraces all clouds, can you embrace all emotions without identifying with them? Can you observe without judgment? When you fully immerse yourself in the present moment, does the breath not become a portal to the infinite? What shape does the sky take? That is the shape of your true self. In the room of your mind, can you find a door that opens to nowhere and everywhere? If you don't claim your past or future, who are you now? In the silence between words, what do you find? What weight does a cloud carry? What weight does the present moment carry? Where does the journey begin when you're already home? Observe the space between each heartbeat. Can you also observe the space between each thought? Your thoughts are clouds. The clear sky is your mind at rest.
In the depth of each breath, can you sense the eternal presence that exists beyond the confines of time and space? An echo lives within the canyon. Let your awareness echo within the canyon of your body. A canvas hosts the painting but is not the painting. Your mind hosts thoughts, but you are not those thoughts. Each thought is a star. You are the boundless universe in which they twinkle. Without thought, where does your inner light end and the sun's rays begin? In the absence of thoughts, how does the universe experience itself? Who is the dreamer when you are not dreaming? Is the thinker of the thoughts the real you, or is it the awareness that perceives the thinker?